Oh, these motherfuckers. So, I got doing some reading, you know, doing some research because I knew it. I knew that it was like something radioactive that was causing all this microcephaly in Brazil. You know, it had been linked to the, the Tdap vaccine, TDAP, tetanus, diphtheria, pertussis, and so I figured what I wanted to do was to, to find out, you know, what company had produced, uh, had produced this vaccine, and then I wanted to show that they had ordered some some radioactive materials you know, such as would cause you know the shrunken head syndrome as is prominent in Brazil right now as a birth defect thousands of cases of microcephaly while uh, women you know it and it falls in exactly the time frame that it had been mandated that women receive if they're pregnant a Tdap vaccine so you know like the Tdap vaccine goes into effect mandatory for pregnant women and then all of a sudden these babies are being born with shrunken heads which is you know, um, I don't know if if you know like the signs and symptoms of like radioactive contamination on pregnant women such as like the depleted uranium babies in uh, U.S. war zones where they're using these like uh, 30, what is it, 30 millimeter? I don't know, they're using these huge bullets of depleted uranium to smash through like concrete walls and uh, you know, to defeat armor. And uh, the bullets, when they go through those walls or they go through the tank armor, that then it's a dust. It's like a dust uh, that is like filling the air of the the whole of the living space or or the vehicle, and they were actually sending our own guys in there to breathe this stuff while they're carrying the dead bodies out. Anyhow, so you know this was the research that I did, and um, I don't know, on this page right here, RadiologyToday.net, they got like a, a few descriptions here of women who were they were uh, dosed with radioactive iodine which I figured that's what it is because your um, what's it called the the lymph nodes there's like a whole bunch of sacs that store iodine in the human body yeah, you got like your, um, what are these ones up here? Your thyroid. You got your thyroid. It's like a sac in, um, in the gonad area. There's like a sac in, uh, I don't know, just below like the stomach. And uh, these are all iodine storage centers in the human body. And uh, I don't know, iodine in combination with manganese, it becomes growth hormone. Not the radioactive kind. The radioactive kind, it like it destroys your tissue. It'll make your your um, it'll make your thyroid shrivel up to nothing. You know, if you get a bunch of radioactive iodine in there, it'll be not good. You know, and it will do the same thing to your brain. You know, if like you're in the stage of pregnancy where you know, your brain and your head should be developing that you know if instead you're exposed to a bunch of radioactive iodine then you know, it it will you know shrink up your brain you know maybe the pregnancy goes on then and like the level of radioactive iodine in the body or you know in the in the in the pregnant woman's body is less and less as time goes on. She's excreting some of that iodine in the urine. Then the uh, the development of the fetus will begin to 
be like proper so like the the body might develop well where the head did not and so you know it it would account for exactly this type of birth defect and there's a bunch of cases here described on this website at radiologytoday.net showing how women were dosed with radioactive iodine and then they their babies were born with microcephaly so I figured that's it I figured it's radioactive iodine and so then I went out and I found out who was responsible for making the the Tdap vaccine or the T or the DTAP which is diphtheria tetanus uh, a cellular pertussis vaccine and Sanofi Pasteur I don't know if they're guilty at all but GlaxoSmithKline they are certainly guilty there's a bunch of different types of DTAP vaccine listed there and some of them are attributed to Sanofi Pasteur and some of them are attributed to GlaxoSmithKline anyhow you know I recognize the the name GlaxoSmithKline and I know that they're some motherfuckers over there that is some guilty sons of bitches so then I went trying to tie them yeah, I did a Google search for GlaxoSmithKline radioactive iodine and guess what I found that exactly coincides with the uh, the microcephaly babies and the Tdap vaccine distribution in Brazil mandatory that they they made it so that pregnant women must accept that they be stabbed with the vaccination jab of GlaxoSmithKline is that GlaxoSmithKline they discontinued their Bexar product in exactly this same time frame now Bexar we'll go back over to Google for this Bexar radioactive iodine um, see where is it here drug type Bexar is a monoclonal antibody that is linked with a radioactive atom iodine I guess that should be radioactive iodine atom so there it is GlaxoSmithKline at exactly the same time that these babies were in the womb being destroyed by the Tdap vaccine of GlaxoSmithKline that they had just then discontinued this radioactive iodine treatment supposedly that uh, they, they were claiming that this was like a treatment for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma but if you know anything about what this radioactive medicine does it just like guarantees that these people are going to be so damaged that they will die within five years and they have like that's how the modern medical establishment rates their um, they, they rate their success in cancer treatment is by a five-year survival rate they don't see if they cured anybody they want to know if the people survived for five years beyond when they were diagnosed with cancer that's how they track it a five-year survival rate and they just presume that everybody that receives their treatment is going to die. Just, you know, do they survive for five years under, under this, you know, dosing of radioactive iodine and whatever other chemical garbage this you know, pharmaceutical industry is going to force on them through their, you know, their, through, through their quacks, you know, their... Um, I, I should say murderous quacks you know, these doctors and murderers using this Bexar radioactive iodine as, as Hodgkin's lymphoma treatment it's ridiculous it's totally ridiculous so you know they could probably see that they were coming up on being sued you know for injecting people with radioactive iodine calling it cancer treatment and so they discontinued it and then apparently what GlaxoSmithKline did with all that excess radioactive iodine they had is they started doping the, the uh, forced vaccinations in Brazil 
with radioactive iodine. And I would suspect that you know they, they wouldn't do it to every you know, every vial of radi uh, of uh, vaccination. You know, instead they they would do it to like you know, every fifth one or you know every twentieth, so that it's not so obvious what exactly is going on there. You know, but it still is kind of obvious where you know the timing of the whole thing coincides with thousands of cases of microcephaly babies being born in Brazil. You know, so now that people are smart to this, what I'm seeing in, in the alternative media, you know, people that I've been for years accusing of being agents, you know, for the banksterism and the CIA and for, you know, just the, the banker's treachery, that they're trying to cover this up no longer as being mosquito caused by the the Zika virus which is said to be like a very mild illness it's such a mild illness that you might not even realize it that you have contracted Zika virus if you get it but they're no longer trying to say that it's the Zika virus now such as at the the Corbett report they're trying to say that it's not even an issue all these babies born with microcephaly they're trying to claim that, you know, all of these blatantly now retarded babies, that they have been, you know, that, that babies in Brazil have always been this retarded. And so, no, no, obviously not. You know, um, these babies, they haven't reached a stage of development where it's been able to be discerned that they are retarded that instead it's just obvious so far that their heads are small that their brains are small but eventually they're going to reach an age where it's going to be able to be proven that these babies their heads aren't just small but they are in fact retarded that their brains do not function on par with uh, average human beings and so, you know, now these, uh, I don't know, they, they're coming out claiming that babies' heads have been shrunken in Brazil for years and years and years, and that, like, this whole thing now of retarded babies being born is not even an issue, that it's always been like that. But in fact, no. It just isn't even measurable yet how retarded these babies are. Yeah. Oh, what a travesty. What a travesty.